So I woke up this morning with the good news that DJI has released a new firmware that supports 50 megabits per second on the video link back to your goggles. So I've heard this rumor for a while, but now it's actually a reality. So let's give it a shot. So I have right here my goggles. I've, I've went ahead and plugged it into my computer and I have DJI Assistant open. New firmware is available. Added 50 megabits per second bitrate mode, which provides better image quality. So from what I've heard so far, it combines two channels together in order to give you that throughput. So I'm gonna click confirm here. It says it's downloading now. Okay, now it's transmitting to the goggles. Okay, now it's on its last step of updating the actual firmware on the goggles. Now, I had a few questions. Uh, one was, on the actual air unit itself, when recording to an SD card, is the quality any better? So we'll test that out. Um, I also am gonna have some pre-flight footage of the, the old firmware and the footage of this new firmware uh, from the DVR on the goggles to see what the difference is like and if we could see breakup um, on one of them and on the other one, it, it performs a lot better. I'll be flying in the same area. So we'll, we'll see what that looks like after this is done. Okay, so update is complete on the goggles. Now to the air unit. Okay, so I have my air unit connected to the computer and the drone is turned on. Props are on, but you shouldn't do that. It's finding the new firmware now. There it is, downloading. Now updating. Well, it's been sitting at 95% on updating the air unit. I've always had a problem with how long this took and how hot the air unit gets while it's sitting here doing firmware updates. Okay, finally, update is now complete on both the air unit and the goggles. Let's go give it a try. Okay, so before I go fly, I wanted to make sure that in the goggles, I could switch it over to 50 megabits per second. So if you go to settings, and then you go to transmission. Um, then on transmission, there's bitrate. I'm gonna go ahead and switch it to 50, just like that. Oh, 50. Okay. And looking around, um, still says 25 megabits per second. Interesting. Um, let me go back to settings. It says 50. Let's see what channel I'm on. Oh, I'm on the public channel. Let's go to channel one. Interesting, there's only two channels. And now it says that were 50 megabits per second. Awesome. Let's go give it a try. Okay, first flight's going to be 25 megabits per second. I'm gonna see if I can find some spots that uh, I get some breakup and some bad bit rate. And then we will increase the 50 megabits per second to see what we get. So let's try this out. Okay. All right, 25 megabits per second. Yeah, I can see. 
see the pixelation on both sides already. If I dip below this hill here. Okay. Yep, getting lots of breakup over here. here a bit, get further away, oh yeah, come back over, get to the top, close to the ground. Woo! All right, so here I'm dipping below where I am. And there it is, pretty pixelated. I'm assuming that's not gonna... I'm assuming that's not going to be fixed with 50 megabits per second. Let's see about detail. So let's see if we can get something pretty close detail-wise, like a bush. All right, so here's the detail of 25 megabits per second. All right, let's bring it in. Okay, so about what I would expect flying so far. Let's get it to 50 megabits per second and see what we get. Okay, let's give 50 megabits per second a shot. I'll try to fly around the same area so we get a good comparison. It's getting windy out here too. So I've got a uh, manual record right now, so, okay, just started recording. So I did that so that we could test out the uh, disarm feature and make sure it's still high power. Um, let's give, uh, it's, it's currently at 50.8 megabits per second. So let's just dip below this hill again. Definitely you can see some pixel breakup. We're at five, two megabits per second right now. Let's try climbing to the top. All right. Woo. We're still at 50. Oh yeah. That was close. All right. Still at 50. Image looks great. Let's go down to see what it looks like behind this ridge here. Okay, we're behind the ridge now. And we're getting lots of breakup, if not more than the last time. This is not scientific though. Let's go check out the test with the detail of the bushes. So we're getting real close here. Can you tell a difference? out landing it and disarming it to see to 
see if I still get full strength. So let's just go do that on the sidewalk over here. No fireworks, guys. Okay, I am disarmed. We're at 3.4 megabits per second. Um, it's bad, but it's not gone. same megabits per second so it looks like it works as promised telemetry recovered okay spring her in compare the footage. So what you're seeing here is a side-by-side -side of two different videos from the air unit, uh, one with the older firmware and the other with this brand new firmware with 50 megabits per second. And first thing I notice using this inspector here is on the old air unit video, um, you have about 40 megabits per second and on the new one you have about 40 megabits per second so as far as what is recorded to your air unit this firmware does not change anything at all the thing i notice with the side by side uh, from the goggle dvr on the left which is prior to this firmware update i'm getting about 20 megabits per second and on the right i'm getting about 40 megabits per second so True to what they say, it's about double the bitrate coming through even on the saved DVR file. So there you go. There's a test of the uh, 2020 July 8th uh, firmware version for the DJI FPV system. And as you could see uh, in the side-by-side, -side, there was a difference with um, the goggles DVR on the firmware prior to this one and this new firmware. So let me know what you think below in the comments. Um, my conclusion is that the video quality is definitely better when it's good, but wherever you flew that it was breaking it up before, it's probably still going to break up like it did in the past. But while it doesn't break up and you're close around where you're flying and you had fairly good quality before, you're going to have even better quality now. Thanks for watching.